Hi, I am Yasser Arfat. I am here with another maths video for class 10 CBSC students. I welcome all of you to this video. Trigonometry Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In the last two videos, we have started chapter number 9, Some Applications of Trigonometry. I have given the introduction and uh, we have familiarized these terms, angle of elevation and angle of depression. And we started height and distance problems. Those who didn't watch those videos, you can get the link to the playlist of the chapter number 9, Some application of Trigonometry from the description of this video. So I request you to watch those videos before watching this video. In this video also, we will continue height and distance problems. If you are watching my videos first time, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my videos, don't forget to press the like button and also share this video to your friends. Let's move to the question. An electrician has to repair an electric, electric fault on a pole of height 5 meter. She needs to reach a point 1.3 meter below the top of the pole to undertake the repair work. What should be the length of the ladder that she should use which when inclined at an angle of 60 degree to the horizontal would enable her to reach the required position. Also how far from the foot of the pole should she place the foot of the ladder? Okay question is like this from the question you should be able to draw the picture uh, electric post is there and the height of the electric post is given that 5 meter and uh, uh, the electrician want to uh, put a ladder at an angle of elevation of 60 degree with the gr ground okay and uh, it is asked to find out the length of the ladder if she want to put uh, keep the ladder at 60 degree angle of elevation, what should be the height of the ladder? So the top of the ladder should reach 1.3 meter below the top of the post. We cannot keep ladder to point A, right? That is danger. Okay. And uh, also ask to find out the length CD, how, how far from the foot of the post she want to keep the ladder. Okay. So two things we want to find out CB and CD. Okay given that AD is given, AD, AD, the total height of the post is given. Okay, so we formed a right triangle here and we want to find out CD, CD we want to find out and also we want to find out CB, the ladder from this right triangle. We'll do the trigonometric ratios in this right triangle, triangle BCD only, BDC or B, BCD. We'll do the trigonometric ratios on this tri right triangle BDC. Okay, and here first we want to subtract to get BD. What will be the length of BD here? 3.7. 3.7, right? That is AD minus the, the total length of the pole, AD minus AB. So then you give the values. So AD is 5 minus 1.3. So that is 3.7, right? 3.7 meter. In this right triangle, BD we know. The side opposite to the angle of elevation. We know that 3.7, 3.7 meter. And we want to find out the side adjacent and the hypotenuse. Okay. So first we can uh, consider on this BC, the hypotenuse. How we can find out the hypotenuse? Which trigonometric ratio we want to take? Cos. To cos. Cos or sine. We know this angle, sine. Sine. Uh, sine. sine. So with respect to angle C, we want to take sine, right? Sine, sine 60. My, my question was uh, to find BC. To find BC, the hypotenuse, we want to find hypotenuse, which is given the side opposite to 60 degree. So the uh, trigonometric ratio connecting the opposite side and hypotenuse is sine. So we take a sine 60, sine 60. You, you can also take the uh, cos, uh, cos which, Cos 30 you can take if you know the 30 value of 30. So if you take, if this angle is 60, then this angle will be 30 degree. So if you take cos 30, then also the same will come, right? 
sin 60 and cos 90 minus 60 cos 30 are same so that that's possible that's fine okay so in this picture sin 60 is equal to sin 60 uh, how will come in names b bd by bc yes bd by bc bd by bc will come and you apply the value what is sin 60 the value of sin 60 root 3 root 3 root uh, root 3 1.3 what will come sin 60 root 3 by 2 root 3 by 2 right so you look the triangle again i drawn before suppose this is 60 degree so 1 root 3 and 2 so the uh, so the trigonometric ratio the sin 60 will be opposite side by hypotenuse so root 3 by 2 will come right so root 3 by 2 is equal to bd by bc bd we know we have turn here 3.7 meter so 3.7 meter divided by bc bc we don't know simply write bc okay so in next step you can write bc 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 oh. yes we see you move left and 3.7 into 2 by root oh. 3 will come so simplify this 2 into 3.7 is so 7.4 7.4 by 1.73, 1.73 you can apply here. So you you want to divide this? I am not doing now. You can convert. You can have, uh, remove the decimal point by multiplying 100. Yes, 740 by 173. You do later. You will get some values and write to you using unit. Unit is meter here. Okay, you will get some value. Then the river you can stop. so uh, look here we we cannot finish here because it is also asked to find how far from the foot of the pole should be the place uh, should she place the foot of the ladder so cd also we want to find out so uh, with respect to 60 which trigonometric ratio we want to take cos sin tan okay tan we can take tan or we can take a sin because we have already found bc 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 is equal to 7.4 by root 3 so uh, i simply take here tan we know the opposite side so tan 60 is equal to the name how will come the sides cd by cd by right? okay so tan 60 what is tan 60 root 3 root 3 so root 3 is equal to bd by cd bd by cd bd we know cd we don't know cd we simplify cd so in next step cd is equal to so 3.7 by root 3 sorry so then cd is 3.75 yes 1.7 so the approximate value you can uh, substitute the right uh, now i simply stop here if it is mentioned in the question like this you want to put the value 1.73 and then do the calculation like uh, correct up to centimeters decimeter and decimeter okay so when you uh, use the approximate same value actually root 3 is no, not 1.73 this is only some approximate value so if you give this value uh, when you get some uh, uh, answer in decimals you want to write inside bracket approximate so if you uh, apply the approximate value you want to approximate value in the final step okay i think you can do the balance the final answer the answers you got you compare with these numbers on the screen these are the correct answers if you like this video don't forget to press the like button and also share this video to your friends in the next video we will do more different application questions of trigonometry so see you next time bye